Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another trading psychology lecture. I'm extremely excited to get into this one um, because this is a profound principle that is very simple to implement, yet if you do, it's gonna have a transformative impact on your trading. And I see traders literally the next day transform the way they view the markets and their ability to make consistent profits in the market by implementing this. So let's get into it. I mean, this is um, a little bit of an introduction to my complete mindset masterclass that I cover in the 12 week program. So if you resonate with this particular um, trading psychology lecture, make sure you check out the 12 week program. I mean, I have a, I've got hours on the trading psychology. You're gonna learn um, an immense amount on your own brain, how, how your mind works um, and how you can uh, very systematically go in there and address emotions and understand yourself on a deep level. So if you resonate with this, check out the 12 week program, there's some links below. But without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna talk about instantly improving your results with this mindset. Now, a very important concept that you guys have heard me talk about on this channel before is the virtual market versus the real market. Let's recap. The virtual market is the market in your head. It's the market, the ideas of what you think is gonna happen in the market. That's the virtual market in your head. The real market is the market that you're trading. It's the one in front of you. It's the one that everybody participates in. The real market's never wrong. The, the virtual market in your head um, is oftentimes wrong. We create these ideas of what we think is gonna happen in the market. We create these fantasies and unrealistic expectations in our mind. And then we try and project them onto the real market, which oftentimes leaves us quite well humbled that day um, when we realize that the real market's never wrong. So. The virtual market is the expectations, ideas of what you think is gonna happen. That's the one in our mind. The real market is the actual market as it is. It's the one everybody participates in. It's the one that um, is never wrong. It's the one that just does its thing. The real market is never wrong. We really wanna emphasize that. The real market is never wrong. Okay, so if we wanna make consistent profit in the market, we have to learn to listen to the real market and execute on our plan when the real market gives us an indication of that happening. Okay, that's very different to creating this idea of fantasy in our virtual market, projecting that onto the market, which then creates confirmation bias to only let in information that supports that idea or belief we've created in the virtual market and blocks out any other information the real market is trying to communicate to us. That's where traders oftentimes start to lose money. So the whole game is about learning to be present with the real market and communicating our trading plan in terms of what the real market's communicating to us. The job of the trader is to remove their ideas, expectations that they create in the virtual market in their head and to get present with the real market. Now you can't be present with the real market if you're caught up in the virtual market in your head. You can only be present with the real market if you're not in your memory and imagination in the, in the virtual market in your head, but you're, you've grounded all your unrealistic outcome-based expectations and you're listening. You're observing, you're taking in what the real market's communicating to you unemotionally and without bias. And that can be trained. I teach you the exact processes to address the subconsciously stored baggage in your mind in the 12 week program. And I actually show traders how to go in there and neutralize previous experiences so they can free themselves up from the cloudy perception they have of the market and they can get present with it. But we're also gonna be talking about how you can ground your outcome-based expectations, which help with being present with the real market. That's what we're gonna cover in today's video. So the silent killer here is actually confirmation bias, like I mentioned. Whenever we set an expectation or belief of what we think is gonna happen in the market, an outcome in the virtual market in our head, we find only confirming evidence to support our belief, to support our idea, to support why we're right. For example, let's say we're looking at Euro dollar and we think for whatever reason, your dollar is gonna to go to the upside. We think the outcome is gonna be that. And we also think that if we buy your dollar right now, we're gonna pass our funding challenge. We're gonna make a certain amount of money. We're gonna be able to post in our community and share how great we are. These are all the outcome-based expectations that we're creating, we're concocting in the virtual market in our head. Okay? Now, because we have that belief, because we have that idea, because we have that expectation that's very positive, right, it's something we want, it's something we desire, it's something we're seeking after, we're now gonna have as a survival instinct confirmation bias to only let in information that supports that. So maybe we go to the DXY and we try and look at 
um, confirming evidence to support why your dollar is going to go to the upside. Or maybe we put indicators on the charts that we've never used before, but we just put them on just to confirm why we're right and why we think your dollar is going to go to the upside. Now, keep in mind that we're just confirming this idea in the virtual market. The real market may have other ideas, but we're not able to let that information in because we're only finding confirming evidence to our idea in our virtual market. I hope that makes sense. It's really, really key. We block out anything that runs counter to our expectation or belief, which means that the, the real market may be communicating to us cues or risks or ideas that may be running counter to our belief, but we're not taking that in because confirmation bias only lets in information that supports our belief. Disconfirmation bias blocks out anything, anything that runs counter to that. So you have to keep in mind that if we have such a strong idea in our virtual market, we can't listen to the real market when it's communicating to us. This is why it's so important to not have ideas, expectations or beliefs on the outcome of a position. This leads to traders not listening to what the market is communicating and oftentimes 95% of the time leads to them taking very emotional losses. Because guess what, now when you lose, you not only lose the money that you've lost in the market, but you also lose all those expectations out of the outcome. You lose the opportunity to go and post in your community and share how great you are. You lose the opportunity to pass your funded account. You lose all the dopamine that's associated to that. And that's why it's so painful to lose sometimes when you set outcome-based expectations. And keep this in mind, when you're not having outcome-based expectations, but when you have process-based expectations, maybe you've been through my 12-week program, maybe you've watched my other YouTube videos, and you take a loss, if you didn't have the expectation of a position going in a certain way and all those great things you're gonna get from it, the loss isn't actually painful because you've already accepted the risk, you've already accepted both outcomes as possibilities and you had balanced, realistic expectations going into that position. It wasn't painful as a result, okay? That's really key. The market's never wrong, I just wanna reiterate that. The real market's never wrong, so we have to be aware of the expectations we create in the virtual market and that we project onto the real market because those are what are gonna stop us from listening to the real market that's never wrong. Now, transforming your results, how do you do this? Well, you go from, from outcome-based thinking or decision-making to process-based decision-making. An outcome-based trader, by the way, these are the inconsistent traders that I've observed, worked now with hundreds of traders one-on-one, -on -one. I've had thousands of traders go through my program, I've been trading myself for the last six and a half years, I've consulted for prop firms, I've consulted for education companies. I've seen a lot of traders, I've seen what differentiates good versus not so good traders. And I guarantee you this is one of the, the major keys of that. Inconsistent traders are outcome based. They're thinking about the outcome before they even get into the position. They're saying to themselves, I'm taking this position because I think your dollar is gonna go up, or I think Bitcoin's gonna go up, or I think Tesla's gonna go up, or I think this is gonna go this direction. They're thinking about what they think the outcome is gonna be. Nobody has any idea of what the market's gonna do next. So any outcome-based decision is actually, you're, leading, you're leaving yourself susceptible to, to making unwise decisions in the market because nobody knows what's gonna happen next in the market. This will lead to confirmation bias and unprofitable decision-making because nobody knows what's gonna happen next in the market. Nobody has any idea. The most successful traders are making process-based decisions. They're thinking to themselves before they take a position, I'm taking this position because it aligns with my trading plan. I don't care if it's a win, I don't care if it goes up, I don't care if it goes down, I don't care if it's a loss. I'm taking this position because it aligns with my trading plan. I know if I do this over a thousand trades, I'm gonna end up profitable. Nobody knows what's gonna happen next in the markets, so the most you can do as a trader is clearly define an edge based on previously um, previous data in the market, and you can see that right, I have an edge more times than not, this plays out. And you can then project that previous data forward in the market, and you can consistently execute on that, on that edge, on that strategy, on that trading plan, and you're gonna approximate an edge over a thousand trades, most likely. So the best traders, the most consistent, profitable traders that I've seen are making process-based decisions. They're not thinking about the outcome. They're thinking about, does this trade align with my trading plan? Or does it not? If it does, great, I'm gonna take it. If it doesn't, I'm not gonna take it, okay? This is why I put the Bulletproof Your Mindset tool together. It's a free tool that all of you can download in the description below. It's to help traders differentiate between am I making an outcome-based decision or making a process-based decision? And then it guides them to making process-based decisions so they can get into the market 
um, making the best, most profitable, most consistently profitable decisions with the least emotion. And obviously this leads to consistent profitability. Why? Because they're consistently executing on an edge, which is what's gonna to lead to consistent profitability in the future. So in summary, the way you instantly see better results in your trading is by dropping the outcome-based decisions and making process-based decisions. This is done by building up self-awareness before you trade. The Bulletproof Your Mindset tool will help you build up that self-awareness of what type of decision you're making and it will guide you to making process-based decisions. So make sure you jump in the description and download that tool right now and start using it. Watch the lessons, the free lessons it comes with and start implementing it. Focus on making process-based decisions. That's all the game's about. Focus on catching and grounding outcome-based decisions. Focus on, on catching yourself when you're, when you're making a decision based on what you think the outcome is gonna be. And that may be pleasurable in your mind, that may pull you to making an unwise decision, but over time you're gonna train yourself, you're gonna build up that muscle. And you're gonna train yourself to catch outcome-based decisions, and you're gonna guide yourself to making more process-based decisions. Does this allow my trading plan or not? Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg when we talk about the principles that I offer in trading psychology. The 12-week program is where I've synthesized and summarized my last six and a half years work as a trader myself, as a performance coach, as a consultant, um, and I've put together the top 12 principles that I've learned to help you overcome your psychological challenges and to help you get funded. We go way deeper than what I've covered today. The expectations is a big part, but underneath the expectations, you have the subconscious mind that actually drives the expectations. If you've got previous experiences in your past of winning is good, losing is bad, that is driving your expectations before you get into positions. If you don't address that subconsciously stored data by using the tools I teach you in week five, for example, and neutralize that stuff, then you're gonna be run by these previous experiences as a trader. You're not gonna be able to see clearly what the market's trying to communicate to you, but you're gonna be making decisions subconsciously based on previously stored information. And you're not gonna be able to be consistent in your execution, you're not gonna be able to have consistently profitable results. So if you resonate with this particular presentation, if you resonate with my YouTube videos, I encourage you to check out the 12 week program. That's a mind blow, we get really great results in that program. People are transforming their trading, they're transforming their lives, they're transforming their perception, they're getting funded, they're scaling up, they're doing incredible things. So if you wanna be part of that, check out the link in the description, check out the 12 week program, um, make sure you have that Bulletproof Your Mindset tool. Um, that's a profound, profound tool. But I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.